This is a problem you may find with the Elemental CTA widget. We've got a call to action widget added and I've gone and set the style for this to be 300 pixel. Now the background image is actually a square image. The trouble is though that because of the horizontal positioning of the CTA, we're completely slicing off the head. And one of the problems of the CTA widget is that obviously when you go to go for the cover skin, I mean, this is what the classic would look like, okay, which is like even worse. If you go for the cover, you can set the resolution, but you don't really have much to do with the image in terms of the placement. Yes, you could argue, well, if you want to make it taller, you would get the exact uh, image now, but I want to have a 300 pixel height because I'm being very particular because of a particular style or a brief we're working to. So how can I get that image to now be top center? With a bit of custom CSS, what you do is go to the advanced CSS and you drop in this bit of code. And I'm sure some of you are gonna say that's made absolutely sod all difference. That's because I've gone and commented out the bits. So over here, we have elemental CTA underscore underscore BG. If you wanna add in a class name to this, obviously add it before this. So you could pop in selector. We might pop dot custom CTA, but you gotta have the elemental hyphen CTA underscore underscore BG because that is now touching the background of this particular widget. The background repeat is set to be no repeat. The background size is set to cover. Don't be fooled by what you see over here because that is cover, but I recommend you definitely go and stick it in here as well. Now, here's the two ways you could do it. I'm gonna uncomment out this bit here. Background position, center top. That's literally it. That's how easy it was. So if you wanted to have center left, center right, bottom left or whatever, or center center, which it would automatically do anyway, this is what you would do. Center top, that is now the same height, but now we're at the top. The way it works with the background position is in terms of X and Y axes. So the X is on center and the Y axis, which is gonna to be top to bottom, you know, you're going in a vertical position, that's your Y axis is set to be the top. But if you wanna be very, very particular, and I'm now just gonna comment this out, so we are now back to the problem scenario we were before. If I go and activate this one, and I've got an eight over there, <laughs> let me get rid of that. If we now go for background position 10%, 0%, 0% is right at the top. If I go and change the uh, Y axis to be 100%, you go zero to 100, so it goes top to bottom that would now put me at the bottom, but I want it to be right at the top, so I've gone for zero. And the 10% is gonna mess around with the x-axis. By the way, though, that won't always work out well for you because it is determined a little bit by how height, the how height, how tall it is, and by the width as well. But I can definitely recommend that when you are using the CTA in a cover and you've gone and made it be narrower in terms of the height, that bit of custom CSS with the center top for sure is gonna massively help you out. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings.